ISO 13485 is an international standard that outlines the requirements for a quality management system in the medical device industry. One of the critical clauses within ISO 13485 is Clause 8.3, which deals with the control of non-conforming products. This clause is of utmost importance as it helps organizations ensure that products that do not meet specified requirements are handled, documented, and controlled effectively to prevent their unintended use or distribution. Clause 8.3 of ISO 13485 focuses on the control and management of non-conforming products, which are products that fail to meet established specifications, standards, or requirements. Here's a detailed breakdown of this important clause. 1. Identification. The first step in controlling non-conforming products is to identify them. ISO 13485 requires organizations to establish a clear process for identifying products that do not conform to specified requirements. This identification should occur at various stages of the product life cycle, including production, inspection, testing, and post-market surveillance. 2. Segregation. Once identified, non-conforming products must be segregated from conforming ones. This helps prevent the accidental use or distribution of products that do not meet quality standards. Segregation may involve physical separation, labeling, or other methods to clearly distinguish non-conforming products. 3. Evaluation. ISO 13485 mandates that organizations must evaluate non-conforming products to determine their impact on safety and performance. This evaluation should consider factors such as the severity of the nonconformity, potential risks to patients or users, and regulatory requirements. 4. Decision Making Based on the evaluation, organizations must make informed decisions regarding nonconforming products. These decisions can include rework, repair, retesting, or disposal. The goal is to either bring the product into conformity or safely dispose of it, to prevent harm to patients or users. 5. Documentation Accurate and detailed documentation is a crucial aspect of Clause 8.3. ISO 13485 requires organizations to maintain records of non-conforming products, including their identification, evaluation, and the actions taken. This documentation is essential for traceability auditing, and continuous improvement efforts. 6. Communication. Effective communication is vital in the control of non-conforming products. ISO 13485 emphasizes the need for organizations to communicate relevant information about non-conforming products to the appropriate personnel, including those responsible for quality management and regulatory compliance. 7. Training. Ensuring that personnel are adequately trained to identify and manage non-conforming products is a key requirement. Training programs should cover the proper procedures for identification, evaluation, and decision-making regarding non-conforming products. 8. Preventive Measures Clause 8.3 also encourages organizations to take preventive measures to reduce the occurrence of non-conforming products in the first place. This includes process improvements, regular quality audits, and corrective actions to address root causes. Clause 8.3 of ISO 13485 plays a pivotal role in ensuring the quality and safety of medical devices. It requires organizations to establish a systematic approach for identifying, controlling, and documenting non-conforming products. By adhering to the requirements of this clause, Medical device manufacturers can enhance patient safety, maintain compliance with regulatory standards, and improve their overall quality management system. If you like this video, then please click like and hit the subscribe button and keep up to date with the latest videos from PatientGuard, making regulation easy.